Hello everyone, my name is Azot Marden. I am the author of React Quickly and this is introduction to chapter 4. In this chapter I am really excited to present to you the states. And not like Arizona or Arkansas. The states in React, they are all about the data. But the data, unlike the properties, which is coming, the properties, they are coming from outside, from other components, from parents, from the top level components. The states in React components, in React elements, they are happening inside. And you can change them. You can modify and mutate the states. That's what makes the states very, 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 very different from properties, properties or props. So, use the states when you cannot externalize this data, when you need to modify this data inside of your component. Otherwise, just use properties if your data doesn't need to be changeable or if you can change it from the outside. So, chapter number four, we're going to start with what is React component state. Then we would be working with the states. First of all, you need to access the state this.state.name. This is how you do it. Then you would initialize the state. It's very, very important to initialize your state. Otherwise, you would have uh, way, way more code trying to do if else, if it's defined, if it's undefined, those type of things. You don't want to do those manual processing. And then, of course, of course, of course, you need to learn how to update your state. Then stateless properties. Uh, state, uh, stateless components and stateful versus stateless components. Those are some of other topics that you need to know. So components, when they don't have a state, they call stateless. And when they have a state, they call stateful. A way to write stateless components, you can use class, but you can also use a function. So a simple function which returns some JSX, that would be a good stateless component. States versus properties. We already talked about that. Property is something which comes from outside. You cannot change them. State, you can change them. They are inside of your particular component. So that's it for this video. Decide if you want to go ahead and read this chapter. I'm sure you will find, even if you're a seasoned veteran, you will find something to improve your skills and your understanding of states in React. And I'll see you in the next video.